Yes, we're back, keeping the ball on the ground. Even better team than usual. We've got Andy Halliday substitute, Derek Ferguson. <laughs> Derek, how you doing, mate? Ah, you're right, good team. <laughs> I'm going to get into that. Are you and Derek close? No, I don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legend, I love it. How we doing, lads? All right, good Christmas, New nah, Year. Worst ever. Yeah. After we fought, it, don't you? I was going to be in a car accident. <laughs> Loads of people saying they seen you get fucked by a wee Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch him first this year? Aye. Well, mate. you battered you, didn't you? But mate, honestly... Did he get something against you? Mate, no, I, I, I just... I don't understand what it was, but it's been the biggest wake-up call for me, mate, because I tell you right now, figure, and I mean this, usually I have a crumble with this. Here I'm sitting again. You know what I mean? I'm back here waiting for him. And I'm telling you right now, I want round two of him. Good, I like that. Do you know what I mean, mate? That's the difference in you now, that's in you. I remember back in the day, if I had a bad, bad game or yeah, a bad... You wouldn't have been here. Nah, I'd have been away for I weeks and weeks and you see me now, look, ready for I get told he was coming today. No, you didn't. I did. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> but sat here, seriously, we should, take, we should tell the public now. It was all scripted. It was all scripted, it was all scripted. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying that if anyone comes for you now on the show, you're going to have a go back at her. So if, if Fergie it. comes for you today, you're going to give him a bit back? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> Fergie, good New Year, mate. Good Christmas. It was good. I um, good the, the five was me and the missus, the three kids together. And my mum and dad, my missus, mum and dad were up for Christmas, so it was oh, good. Boy. Different. Like, normally New Year, good for a few beers with the boys, but that's not possible. Many bottles of red? A few. Aye. Nice. A few, but you've got to celebrate. Of course you I do, I love mate. Christmas. What'd you get? Family time. Um, what did I get? New golf bag. New power caddy. Woof. What a present, man. Um, Dad got me fucking cereal bars wrapped up. I've heard, I spoke to him, I spoke to big golf. He says you play golf with him. Aye, I play. You get, um, Dullitter. Dullitter. You get a golf swing with a caddy. <laughs> I battered him up there. What's your handicap? Um, probably First about touch. Ten. <laughs> ten, aye. Ten and on. Handy, that's handy. I've not get played game. enough. Aye. Are you good? A six. Ah, I'll still beat you. Probably. Oh, oh I'd wow, there's a wee. There's a wee test there. Well, here doubles is that, match. Is that your... That's my local eyes. Right. I just stay at the back of the... Oh, do you have home and away? Aye, where's your local? Hamilton. Look at it's good. cold. Aye. It's nice. Right, Eesh. we'll do that. Well, we're on. Kevin Kyle, I said at New Year, I want the video released. What the video? greatest moment in open goal history. <laughs> I want it the least. The mask. The mask. Oh, the mask. I'll, I'll let you release it slowly. Well, yeah. For the new aye. year. Aye, for the, the new year. year oh, yeah, actually. Got to bring into the, they've got to start the new year. We, do you we, know why? We better carry on. I need my confidence back. Back up. No, that was fine. <laughs> Paul, what, what we'll do is we'll get the producer to sort out. We'll put it out. How was your Christmas, Kev? Good new year. What would you get up to? Christmas went down to uh, the mother-in-law's for, uh, just for the one day, for the, down to the farm, uh, and then back up the road, and then new year, me, the wife, and the four boys, uh, I ended up staying up to about maybe six, seven o'clock in the morning, just fucking tan and drink, left, right, and something. That was quite wow. good. YouTube on the telly, all sorts of tunes, tweeting shite, just the usual. Jim Jeffries, like he's certainly trying Jim to get Jim was <laughs> Jim Jeffries was chatting at the door, trying to get in, but he was barred. <laughs> was he the turkey in the middle of the table? Imagine him just like that. <laughs> he was up in the bar. With the wee pigs and blanket hanging <laughs> out the back. <laughs> what did you get up to? What did you get up to? That's just working, mate. Aye. Uh, working constantly on Christmas. You're non-stop, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, I'm getting right, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, what do you have for Christmas dinner? The usual. Just turkey? No. Fair I go to a wee restaurant in Hamilton. Oh, nice. Me and the missus go to. You want to give him a wee pug? It saved, it, it, it saved her then. Because you know what it's like, man. It's You, you can't enjoy it. See, when you're cooking all the oh, time. Nah, too so, stressed. Aye, so me and Connor went down and picked it up three o'clock. And then mum and dad, her mum and dad, and then we sat up and had a few drinks. Brilliant. You went down in the morning, the carrot was half eaten. Half Santa. eaten. <laughs> there was the other half hanging at your dad's. Jeez, my jeans. <laughs> oh, please, my mind. <laughs> nah, honestly, my Christmas was shambolic. So your dad wrapped up cereal bars? No How shambolic? Uh, he did send he me a picture. Like, much like Christmas. I bet half, half of my family were in the kitchen, half was in the living room. How's that be? This is that small, so we're all shooting into each other. <laughs> Made a fucking shambles. So, so cereal bar, and mate, it then wrapped up like a box. Some like that. I got him that, can I say that, the Jockstein statue? Uh-huh. Hated it, it was like, it doesn't look like Jockstein. <laughs> <laughs> I spent 85 quid on it, right? It was like, it doesn't look like that. So he got me the cereal bar wrapped up, right? And the whole family, it was videoed. It's actually a video to get it. And they were all laughing at his, right? So I thought, look, he then wrapped a box up, do you know what it was? Seven pound harmonica, fair little. <laughs> Next to the hang you do that. <laughs> Mate, how bad is that? My Christmas. That's all right. Think so? Seven uh-huh. quid? What did he say about uh, Ford going for you? Was he going to stick up for his boy? My dad went like this, lucky he got you first. 
as if he was going to get me. <laughs> mate, Rob Hudson, I think, mate, my whole family annihilated me. Are you going to get him back on? Uh, we're going to get him uh, back. We're going to put a. Uh, say him now to come back right. on. Just I, I want, give him something now to entice him to come back I'm on. A, genuinely, I'm going to tell him right now. You're going to okay. grab him by his curly mullet? His little mullet and his little glasses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm going to grab him his little mullet and sweep him in the flare. And then give me a right spanking he deserves. I'll tell you right, right now, nobody speaks to me like that. <laughs> and round two, it's coming very soon. Brilliant. The only thing is, when it comes, Si, I need to start right, right for the half, I need to get him. And I've got an exact joke I'm going to use on him. Go <laughs> That'll get him. That'll, that'll definitely that'll get him. Yeah. So, right, we'll organise it. I can't see it because I need to wait for him. So, Ford, get back on for round two. Who do you like better, Jack what? or Victor? Jack. Jack's the best, isn't he? Oh, Cash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'd be fit. Mate, I, I, honestly, like, somebody said to me, which makes me even merry a loser, that he's getting slaughtered. I mean, well, some people keep feeling sorry for you. Huh? Mate, please don't do that. <laughs> If it's me, it's a loser. I should be getting slaughtered for no getting my bit back. But I'm telling you, he caught me off guard. I admit, generally, see, see, see me was coming for me. Actually, my head felt melted. Like, I can't, I couldn't get his wee mullet and his glasses out of my head. <laughs> I mean, honestly. But, but you need to start. When he comes, you need to go straight away. Yeah. I know, I, but On see, the front foot. But I can't right. go as in what I was going to say. Like, I was just going to hammer Just him. go for it. So, for it, I just yeah. go for it. But do you know think that he could, because he's a comedian, he could hammer him back even more? No, I think he's got it now. I mean, I, I, maybe three or four years ago, no chance. Yeah. No. It's made that. Do you see a different guy now when you when you walk in and see him? There's still room for improvement, but you get <laughs> <laughs> that's a, Do you know that's a big regret? <laughs> me and Philly didn't work together, well. Yeah. If I, if I had he'd know, imagine me, the way you've seen me now, if I was like a few years back. Do you know what I mean? What you had to deal with was nothing short of abysmal. Aye, it stood, it stood him in good stead for his managerial career, so then he haven't trained by lunatic. The, the bad thing is, he never came and spoke to me. Mm. My door's always open, mate. Really? Well, you can still speak always. to him now, any time of the day, any time at night, just give me Any of my players always say that. Uh -huh. The door's always open, mate. If I can't help you, I'll pass you on to somebody who can. can. Brilliant, that. Kev, do you not feel... Sorry, no sticking up for you, mate. I feel no, a bit bad. I, I think no, no, so. that's it. Sorry, Kev. Please don't <laughs> ever say somebody's giving me it. See, somebody's giving me it and hammer me. Use Joy and Oren Gimmie. Sorry, there's not worse when your mates that like, leave my lane. You know what I mean? You're like a loser. <laughs> I don't get it wrong, <laughs> Sorry, I was sitting there thinking the two years that he's put me through, I was sitting there fucking buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> I kept tapping me <laughs> forward under the table saying, go on, give me a wee bit more. Look at his fucking dildo. I was going out in the back. <laughs> he, he actually told him that you went to the toilet and the dildo. I keep going down. <laughs> mate, see, yeah. Uh, if it could happen to one guy, it deserved to happen to me. And I, like, I've been gaining to people for so so many years. And listen, but that my my motto in life has always been slaughter people when they're not there. When they come on, suck up their ass. It's always worked. Yeah. That's keeping me an end now. That's keeping me an end. So I'm going to need to stick up for myself, Simon. Brilliant. Uh, right, before we start, Kev, take the uh, Yorkshire pins at your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go, Rangers v Celtic. Barry Ferguson, was it the game you expected it to be? No. You expected Rangers to dominate? I did. Uh -huh. I'll be honest with you, I says that on, on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. I expected the way Rangers were playing to go and dominate again, but you've got to give Celtic credit. I was wasn't just surprised because they've, they've still got good players, Celtic. I've always believed they were going to come back for that rut they were in. But I thought they started the game brilliant. They were the, the better team up until the sending off. Mm. And they made some big calls to play Sorrow, Turnbull. I know they've been playing well. Yeah. But obviously, you know what happened in the cup final, brought Scott Brown back. But I, I thought, sorry, every time I see him. Good, isn't he? I'm impressed really? with him. Exactly. I don't know. He did come in, was it a January transfer window? Was it Rogers that brought him this sort of one? No. Um, it was a year ago he came in. Was that right? Aye. I, I think so. That's bad he knows men about it. And then. Um, you know, it's like when a new signing comes in for a different country, it takes a bit of time to settle. But where has he been since the start of the season? Yeah. Because yeah. I've been impressed with him. But no, Celtic were. Um, I think they took Rangers by surprise mm. the way they started. It was brave feeling, wasn't it? Going with that diamond, especially with Rangers, two dangerous threats to fullbacks. I, I genuinely think that sometimes it's fairly seen they're surprised that he played sorrow and tumble because obviously sometimes you rely on a bit more experience, but you've got to be playing players who've been in form. And mm. I thought like the, 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 it was a great call and it was a great opportunity for the two sorrow and tumble to highlight themselves in a bigger game. I think I think I've said it a few times that Celtic need to raise the intensity against teams at like Rangers and other teams, and I think that's what they did on on the Saturday. I think the levels they showed 
when they were attacking, they were far more quicker. And when they were when Rangers had the ball, they were hungry to get it back. So they never allowed Rangers to settle. And Rangers, I don't think, found themselves in that position too many times that's this the first, season. That's the first time this year. Aye, where, yeah. they've, where a team's been so intense with pressing and determined to get the ball back, they were like, oh, wait a minute here, because they've been the team doing that to everybody else. And Celtic has done that to them. And like I say, for that, for the, for the period of time up until Beaton gets sent off, Celtic were the dominant force. First, uh, we could go into their chances and stuff, but the final ball was just, it just wasn't there, Sai. Right. It just, it could See, have been so much better. Looking for, we win. Frimpong, Gan. Frimpong, Laxar. Frimpong is John Hughes calls him a hair. Aye. Do you hear that? Calls him that. We Frimpong. Frimpong. Fuck, Listen, you've got to give Celtic like, credit. They, did, they, they knew they had to come and win the game. Aye. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying, oh, they'll come and sit back and frustrate. But they came and had a go at them, and I think that's what. I don't think Rangers expected that. Mm. See, we, see on Rangers, I don't know if this is a, a ridiculous point, right? Do you think Rangers didn't know how to approach the game because whether it win or take a draw go for the win, or because they've got such a, a lead? Do you think you, Slane, you've got to go in for the win? Mm. You've got to. Do you think? But I, I just, think? I think they did, but I just think Celtic were better on the day. But this yeah. is a difference with us Rangers team. Yeah, they get in at half time, nothing each, which was the big, the biggest thing in the game, most important. Celtic were that much on top. Yeah. I think this time last year, they'd have struggled, they would have caved in a bit. Mm -hmm. So there's a different mind, mindset about that. But not many teams have went and pressed them like that, that high for the start no, as well. Eh? They've, been used to, yeah. they've been used to like two banks of five. Yeah, taking up to the half line yep. and playing for there. Yep. The problem also was like with Rangers was their right ball was Morelos. Roof wasn't even in the game, so that's why he got, he got sent off. I don't, I don't, I don't, taken off. It wasn't his fault. But Morelos was left up top and any opportunity that Rangers did get the ball, he wasn't protecting it very well. So it was just coming straight back all the time. And I think yeah. if had he been that guy to maybe just get the ball under control, allow Rangers to settle down, get and keep the ball, it might have been a wee bit different, but it just kept coming back, back, back. But again, when you are on top and playing at that intensity that Celtic were, it does become difficult. And, and I think, see, with the two midfielders, been at Arfield and Jack. Yeah. I don't think like Kamara and Davis would maybe have played in, in the Wednesday night. He'd have freshened mm. it up a wee bit. So he's not been able to do that. They, they two are big, big misses. See, with Kamara, they shuffle the midfield. With Kamara and Jack, you know what they are going to do in a game. But see, with Arfield, he, for me, runs all mm. the place. Mm. And sometimes you don't know he who's picking him up. Yeah. He runs into spaces. That's what they needed the first half. Somebody he can takes field to make people a away in. that allows space yeah. for others to win. Yeah. Whereas with Kamara and um, Davis, it was so obvious what they were doing. They weren't going to go. Devo, that you would have rested Devo on Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah. Kept him fresh mm. for Saturday. Yes. Bear in mind, remember Devo's come up in 36. Similar yeah. to Scott Brown. You've got to pick and choose your games so he's not get the. He's not get the, 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 the guys, the bodies in the midfield with the two injuries. So Devo's having to play every yes. single game, which is no ideal. Did you have the scarf? The TV was broke, so you saw a scarf over the laptop. Over the laptop. The family were going absolutely mad. I've never seen a family be fed after the game of totally, so totally, totally sickened. Um, but as I sat the family doing last night, so I sat them all doing, I said to them, it ain't over. Because what I've seen for Celtic was an unbelievable performance. It really, really was. The pressing game was absolutely incredible. Rangers didn't know how to deal with it. But the problem is, Simon, is the damage he's done before. You should never begin into the 2nd of January in a must-win game. That is not acceptable. It really isn't it. And I, I go back to the summer. The goalkeeping situation is nothing short of disgrace to allow Craig Gordon to go. David Marshall's in the, uh, there to go. He's ready to be signed. He told me he wanted to come back to Celtic. Did he? Yeah. Um, Over, via what? Phone call, text, Zoom email. call. Zoom call. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he, he wanted to come back. Three of his gloves on on the Zoom call. Gloves on, aye. Celtic, he's he's there as well. Celtic stripped on, didn't he? Celtic stripped on, didn't he? make it happen because he knows I'm well in at the club. He wanted, he wanted to come back. You cannot spend £5 million in this season on an unknown goalkeeper what you're going to get. It might have been brilliant. Who knows? But you can't have that risk. Shane Duffy... Everybody seems going to be a good signing, but you can't come to Scotland, right? No played for a year, expecting to be up to the pace. You only take five to, to six games, and in the games he played, he was absolute miles off it, and he had and he lost his confidence. And the man is totally a, a scatter brain now. Should, should Barkas save the goal? Yes, hundred percent. Right, Fergie. Uh, no, I don't, listen. Uh, there's Sicky. I've not seen him make a save. Yeah, no, I don't. Like, a, like a proper like. Maybe been under save, pressure yeah. for 10, 15 minutes yeah. in a game and say, right, do you know what, there he's made two or three saves. I've still actually to see that happen. No, it's one of the ones he maybe thinks Callum McGregor's heading away. 
I know, but as a goalie, you've got you can't think about that, can you? You've got to think about the post, but I don't get it. Why do people do that? I always have one player. I think Edward's meant to be on the post, isn't he? And he's not going to I would always have one player on the post. Mm. Kev, what about you? Should he save it? I just think most goalkeepers say they, they anticipate things quite a lot. He's anticipating things too early, so his feet's already away. And if the front post? Aye, aye. He's, mm. coming, he's, he's, he's anticipating it too early that doesn't allow him to take that fight, that other step that might have got him. When you see it slowed right down, I know it's unfortunate the fact that, um, as it come off Big Joe Rebo's he got a tiny flick on it uh-huh. and then it's come off Callum McGregor's um, arm which has taken it but for me it's not as if it's like rocketed into the far corner it's just looped over yeah, just looped whereas over. you would think a goalkeeper fast feet on your toes one step he might uh, again, it's just a take but it's again set pieces margins. at Celtic's Achilles yeah. Yeah. Aye. the struggle at set pieces but you also Fergie they're sending off that's been happening all year and they've not learned from it it's a sending off Be- beating's caught on the wrong side yeah, yeah. It's a sending off. Ayers 20 yards away. I don't care what anybody says. It's a clear red card. Paul? My first instinct... It's a clear <laughs> red card. My first thought is when be it first happened... Be the new you. Be the new you. Be the new you, My first thought is straight red card. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a red card? <laughs> it's a red See, card. No, no, listen, sorry, Kevin. My first instinct was no. I thought it was very wide... It almost felt it was a wee bit out. when you watch it back. You can see why it's been given. Do you know what I mean? He is away, but I think I don't think Ayers covering them. But can I just say something as well, Fergie? The boys at right back, right? Why is Ayers so far away for Beaton? I don't know. Mm. And that's what's yeah. been see, happening see all year. Why have they not for this? See if Top Ayers players. ten. Well, you play centre half sometimes. Yeah. Ayers got to be another ten yards further across. Gross. I think if Ayers then ten yards further across, he covers and it's a yellow card. See when there's no pressure Lagan on the ball. Huh? Yeah. Aye. Laxalt should drop, there's no pressure on the ball. Beaton should be five yards further over and Ayers should be ten see, yards further over. I'm going to ask a question, right? And I'm just an opinion at a time. See your top goalkeepers like Ederson, Allison, Neuer. Aye. Leighton. Lynn. 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 <laughs> see when Tavernas <laughs> played that ball Aye. up the touchline, do you not think the goalkeeper's got to be a wee bit further, further forward? Yeah. Anticipating. Definitely. If you're anticip- going to press high, mate, your goalie needs to be on the edge of the box. See, see when you, keeper type see, I, but see when you freeze it, right, and you see them all in action, he's still standing on his six yard box. Uh-huh. For me, that's too, like, if he stands, say, penalty spot, stroke 18 yard box, 18 yard box he, he potentially be. could make the five or six steps stride wise yeah. and clear that ball apart and take that away from beat on. Beat on, can he do anything else other than maybe either decide, bring him down, which he did, or let him go and have the others? Because he's looking that no, way you. and he doesn't know where Ayer is. No. So he's got no option, but. I don't think he's anticipating. No. no. If a goalkeeper, I like a goalkeeper who's on his toes Aye. all the time. You know what I mean? He doesn't, need, he doesn't even need to be the 18 yard line. He can be in between the penalty spot and the exactly. 18 yard yeah. line. Just so he's there, make a decision. And but as a sending off, he's caught wrong side. Ayer's. Too far away from him. Kev, send it off? Aye, 100%. Yeah. There's no, you can't argue because I, I slowed it down quite a lot and tried to figure out where the ball would have been, where Morelos got it, and see what I thought he would have got it. it was just inside the 18 yard box. And see when you go for where the wheel is, Morelos takes a touch to the right, he's shooting across the keeper. If Morelos takes a touch in and it would have to be a really bad touch, I are still not getting there. And I just think it's one of them that he's made a decision and it's ultimately, I wouldn't say it caused Celtic at the time because had they saw the game out and got a draw, you would have said, right, okay, we're st- seven, eight points, whatever, it's still in my chance. But they've ended up conceding quite... What do you think quite, subs? Do you think Bobby Madden? I, I just about, I, I, I just say, I, what, I was shocked he took Griffiths off. Mm-hmm. Aye, I can't even, you need an outlet, don't you? I, I, think, I, think, I think Lenny might look back at it and think, hmm, should I have done that? I thought they two again looked a danger all game. I mean, when you see they two coming in on the team sheet yeah. at half 11, right away you're thinking, yeah. Because you, you've seen the, the previous like, two or three games starting yeah. to link up, we've got good, they know each other's game, they're, they're a danger they two. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think they look good. Even went like 3-4-2 or something yeah. and then kept the two of them four, up. 4 one, 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 left. Right, on, on the tier of ta- 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 he's, he's starting to look a lot sharper, Lee Griffiths. And that yeah. must be a frustration for Lenny. He must be thinking, I need to do it at the start, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You think the Bobby thing Madden's that, swimming cap was on too tight? Far too tight. <laughs> the thing with yeah. Griffiths is he g- <laughs> gives you the unknown. He gives you that opportunity. He's a danger. That, uh, Aye, he's it's a like, danger. if you keep him on and say Celtic managed to get a free kick with five, ten minutes to go for 20 yards out, 
you're fancying Lee Griffiths to maybe pop up with something, but especially the fact you end up putting Duffy up front, you may as well. <sighs> maybe rather just Griffiths, Lee Griffiths up front. Been on the pitch. I think Edward looks a different player. Oh, yeah. He looks if he's yeah. hungrier, right. he's, he's right but up. But also for takes it. the attention away from Edward. Yes. See when Edward plays, Aye. defense knows we just need to stop Edward. When Aye. Griffiths is there, he can float a bit. Yeah. 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 Well, but Balogun and Goldson knew they were in a game straight yeah. away. Balogun's uh, tackle and unbelievable. Unbelie yeah. that's he's been brilliant, Balogun. That's, that's why he's played, see, recovery. Pacey. He's 32. Yes, he's decent. He's been what a find he's been. You think that's where Rangers have got it better than Celtic recruitment? Well, they've done it early in the summer, Simon. I know how hard it is to try and get players in, right? But you need to try and get them in the first day of pre-season. You need to get them in to know, get to know the environment they're in, get them to know their teammates, get them to know the, the standards, yeah. the expectations of the club. That's where Stephen Gerrard was spot on. Yeah, he got Balogun in. Uh, uh, Ruth, Hadji. But they, they, see, the, the league finished early last season. It was an opportunity for Celtic and Rangers to get players. Gerrard went knew exactly what he needed in our centre half who was quick because mm. Hollander lacked pace Yes, and that's what you, you notice because if that was Hollander the other day with that shot with Edward does he get across? The answer is no good mm. defender no quick enough and Celtic had to recruit quicker but do you know like, <clears throat> Rangers have signed players to suit the system that they play right. Celtic have just signed good players yeah but you just think see, for the numbers for the numbers Feb, ah, just because they're good players you think Celtic finished the season 3-5-2 last year right? Going into this summer, they should have, we're going to sign players that can play in a 3-5-2. The first signing was El Yunusi. Mm. Where does he play in a 3-5-2? It's not been thought about. Rangers, even, even that's why it's so seamless when Rangers leave two or three out. They didn't need to change the formation because they've bought players that fit that system. Aye. I know El Yunusi no, scored a, a few goals. Point. I thought a few goals or something, right? But Thanks. see, to be honest with him, he just need, he just need to get me excited when he's yeah. coming El Yunusi that's when he's coming off the bench. I don't think, oh, he, he's going to come on and make a difference. Where the Sea Rangers, when they bring on somebody, they're coming on to do that exact same job. The person that's coming off, it's just done. They're all vying for that place. They all want to be a part of what's maybe going to happen. And for me, they're playing like a squad. Whereas with Celtic, sometimes I think there's too many individuals, and they don't get what like you bring on Elanusi, a guy that scored maybe double figure goals this season, but you're not excited by it. You don't think, oh, right, he mm -hmm. might get us a wee bit, a wee bit of guy. Look, he came on, he dribbled, he tried to pass the ball in the midfield, and Rangers took the ball from the up the park, and they got another attack. That shouldn't be happening. I just think that Celtic Rangers binge is as strong as the actual eleven. Whereas Celtic says like you're hoping that somebody might come on <coughs> and do something. That shouldn't be the case. I think with the certainly the last few weeks with this formation of the diamond, it seems as if they, they were actually very well coached on Saturday. Yeah. They were pressing. They all knew where to go, and it was actually really good to watch. But that had to have happened much earlier. But the one thing you look for if you're going to sign a player in Scotland, you must be able to run. Oh. Ah, oh, you've got to, you, for me a yeti kind of the pace of the game's too quick for him mm -hmm. El Yunusi's the same Duffy. and Duffy's the same the, your three big signings that you've signed for the English player on paper they look like good signings but it's the same with Barton and Crankcha on paper for Rangers look like a good signing but if you can't run you'll struggle up here this guy seriously mm -hmm. well done <laughs> but, but Big Duffy but Big Duffy no got to like, singly point him out but he's miles off it but, mm. like, like miles off it yeah. uh, like no even close like the tackle he did on on um, Kent Kent, aye. Kent. As you call him. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> Kent. Like, he's nowhere near, I know Kent's faster, but he's nowhere near it, you know what I mean? And I just think that, come on, you've yeah, no I, been playing. I, I just think with, with Duff, if you look back, if, I don't know if he's watched Brighton play, Brighton play totally different from yeah. the Celtic play. Celtic oh. have 60, 70, 80% possession of the ball mm. half the time. So they play a high line. Yeah. That doesn't suit him. No. It doesn't suit him. It's all right in a back three. Yeah. But in a back two, no. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like. I mean, you ask any centre back, they don't like turning their back and running back to goal. But I, I just think a lot of players say, "Ah, right, I'll go up and sign myself to a Rangers. It's going to be a canter. It's not a canter." No. See, I think that's the same I with Beaton as well, Fergie. Tony, when he plays there, I think he's alright when you've got the ball. But when that's that ball, right, you've got the half feeling yet. See, if somebody's coming, you've got the line, share the possession. That's fine. I'm seeing you go to Fir Park, Easter Road, Tannadice, Petodre. No. It's a different ball game. Yeah, right, Fergie, talk to us. Save of the season, Alan McGregor. Oh. What a fuck? How can you, what age is he? 39. Best save of all time. My old man mm. could struggle getting off the couch at 39. I remember him uh, fucking. Uh, this guy jumping about like that. Amazing. Best save it's of all frightening. time. Best save of all time. I mean, it's right. I'm telling you, nine, nine out of ten goalkeepers don't even die for that. They let it go in. It's uh. not, don't mean let it go in. It's impossible to save that. Like, that was honestly one of the moments where you're like, it just totally drained you. You're like, oh, that was, going, that was a goal. Did you, you just hear Lee Griffiths? What was getting drained there? The boys. <laughs> you get drained right? Lee Griffiths after the game. As soon as it left his foot, he thought it was in. But he's a world-class goalkeeper. That's what Lee Griffiths said after the game. Is he the best you've played on? 
Alan McGregor, they're country mile. Is he? Uh, he's getting better as well. Wait, better? Who, who else have you played at Rangers? Like Klaus, no. He came Do you play Klaus? Aye. Better than Klaus? Yes. Is he? Yep. Wow. I thought Klaus was on the winner. Yep. And what, what, what is he better than Klaus at? All, all round. Is he right? All round. What is the Klaus retire at? I is he can't injuries? remember. Slaney. I'm not I'm no too sure. Maybe 35, 36. I just can't believe I can't believe he's the, he's, he's wait, the best, eh? See the... What was it? Was it the Edward? I know it got called offside. The second yeah. one, did you see the second wow. one? His reaction to it? Frightening, isn't it? He won Rangers again. Yeah. And it would seem when you've got a top goalkeeper, that's a problem at Celtic. I've got when you've got a top goalkeeper, they earn you 15 points a season. Aye, yeah. it's and just, he earned Rangers three points. Yeah. It was, with that performance, with his saves. It's not a surprise because he's been doing it for season after season. Like even when he went down to England eventually, was it Hull? Like they raved about him there how good he was and obviously it was great that Rangers got him back but a free transfer yeah unbelievable like, see I like had the same chance with Marsh as well didn't in the summer transfer. free transfer experience see goalkeepers right they always Especially say they get better they, they get older the older they get the, the better they get but that save was down to experience because he's looking before that boy even gets to Lee Griffiths he's thinking right okay he's going to open his body up here he's going to come out of this top corner Lee Griffiths has done everything, maybe apart from putting it bang on the money where mm. Griggsy wouldn't have got it. But Gregor's already looking, thinking, right, get, get ready for this, it's coming. Barkas, he wouldn't have fucking moved. It would have just hit the back of the net and that would have been like, all right, okay, but. What, that, about, right, what about McGregor saying it as a goal kick as well? Ah, brilliant. How good brilliant. That, that's fucking, what always would be like, ah, he's clean as a corner. Uh, <laughs> never touched it. Never touched it. But it's, that's is. the difference because you, you look at last year in the Cup final, Celtic won Rangers battered them, Foster. It's the big difference. You need a top goalkeeper, and it unfortunately Celtic haven't got it. And it was roles reversed. That's what it was. Yeah. Like Rangers obviously dominated Celtic in that cup final. Celtic dominated that game on Saturday. Right, playing it as a guy who was a master at the final ball, disappointed with Frimbongs and Laxalts. That was my. That was just what was missing, wasn't it? That was my. I was so frustrated with. It. I kept shouting about the hoose, the final ball, and then I. What was the one in the last minute or two? Was it El Yunusi that tried to play it through? Yep. I can't remember. Was oh, it? Oh fuck! Aye. Aye. It was Ellen the same. Ellen overhit the pass. Aye. Oh my god! That, that was an say. opportunity. Wow, yeah. massive. But with the, with the delivery, that's what I said. So I, I kept screaming to tell her, then I turned round and froze for a second. Thought I couldn't date in training. So <laughs> why am I shouting to these guys? But <laughs> but so I definitely with Frimpong. Honestly, mm, mm, he's in my heart forever. Him and I, they were absolutely exceptional. But the final ball is so important. Just hang it up. Let the strikers. You seen Griffiths? Mm. You know, they're waiting for these chances but I thought uh, young Frimpong was unbelievable in the game so I'm not going to be too critical what, of bad what would you say take a bag of boys out and get Danny McGrain to take you out with a bag of boys <laughs> after training <laughs> going across the ball for half an hour he enjoyed that good advice the hardest thing is with full backs and winners is getting behind other full backs to, to give yourself that opportunity to either clip across in pull it back or fire one across the face of the goal it's difficult to get in these positions to do that first and foremost but Celtic did it quite easily on Saturday but the final ball you were just waiting for Frimpong to say two positions in that first half two unbelievable just positions just whip the ball in mm. yeah. and his delivery wasn't he uh, was well, but he's trying. still young isn't he he's, uh, he's, 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 he's going forward he's aye uh, right. <clears throat> Robertson to Trent I mean that's how you should watch you too that's how you do it in turn my god what that boy the new Proud of him. Oh, he's just unbelievable he's doing great isn't he oh he's amazing he's doing great uh, McGregor's a teammate as well good guy Aye, crazy. Is he? Aye. What, every day what, crazy? What a trainer, but aye, he'd aye, crazy. Like, he, like, during training, he'd be screaming and shouting and want to fight with people. Would he ever want to fight you? Aye, if somebody wasn't doing it in a five or side or six or side, like games at the end, yeah. he was desperate to win. I loved that. Mm -hmm. And that was in him for a 15-year-old boy. What, you, do you remember seeing him at 15? And he came in and played was in a Glasgow Cup game. What um, was that, reserves, Fergie? Aye, but at that time, aye, it was like under 18s, but right. he was 15. They played at Pollock. And this young skinny 15 year old came in and played and he was frightening that day. And I thought to myself, this guy's got a major chance. And he struggled to get in because of Kloss and Nye Niemi, remember him? Yeah, yeah, Niemi. Yeah. Niemi. And there was another few goalkeepers. And do you know what? He went out Sorry. And he went out and wanted them firm on St. Johnson done at the Hardway. Yeah, I like that. Trade, <clears throat> learned his trade, go to, the, go to his experience. And he came back and he played, but frightening goalkeeper. But Mate, most of all, you just have, you see him on the pitch. Sometimes he you overreact. Like, you no, know, when somebody comes in and maybe gives him a wee <laughs> and he's moaning and all that, I don't mind that. Yeah, he's just desperate to win. Do you still speak to him? Aye, he's keeping contact. Yeah, eh? aye. Text him after the game. Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, do you play against him? I played with him in the score of 21s, and the biggest surprise for me was he didn't actually play. 
Really? Who it was, was uh, Sooters. S- S- no, Derek Sooter. Derek Sooter. Sophie Sooter. Sooter. Aye. We had a right... Who was the manager, mate? We need... Fucking he needs to get his badges taken off. Who was it? Mo Malpas, writing a ball off. There was... Uh, the right, the SFA need to get in touch with them. And... But S- Greensy never played. Oh, that's maybe all. Big Derek Sooter was playing the first team at that that's time. That's probably what would the reason yeah. would be. Greensy played all the card <laughs> schools and that. He was he was a right good guy. Took oh, a right he's a proper teammate. Oh, took a right few good after me. Is he right? Aye. Proper guy. Liked a wee bevy and a wee carry on the rest of us, but like Fergie says, when you trained, he was fucking aggressive, right. like he hated losing. He knows how to switch. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. He can switch if he'd been one of the boys to when he goes uh, on that training and he's an animal. Uh, did you ever get soapy with him? <laughs> <laughs> like so fucking soapy. Like soapy, eh? Soapy, so he must have had a good 14, 15, 16, under 21 appearances, and I think Greg's have got hard wow. any. Just shows you for anyone that's I know. That's that is that I don't even wonder know. We, that. We, we it's probably there. stood Greg's in good stead. Going forward. Forward, uh, I wonder what we Ford's done. <laughs> Do you think he's thinking about you? I can't get it. he's thinking, I've done that wee bastard. See the way he swaggered out after it, but people didn't see. Is that annoying you because everybody was talking about it? Uh, no, I, 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 that's, I, I couldn't honestly care less what people say, right? But I was so annoyed with myself that I never said it in back. But I see that way after an argument. You're like, I should have said this, I should have said that. He's hurting inside for the first time in a long time. Because I had a few things that came up in my head. What was the worst thing he says to you? It was not, listen, it was not really personal, but it was just annihilation from start to finish. Like, what, actually, was the, what was the worst thing he That one he said, drop me, pull my piss out and put, put it through that hole and you can hold it for me. <laughs> hold your dick. No, did you see the scene? Slaney wanted to do a scene with him and he's just... Said I blow my sister's pants and all that. <laughs> and the worst time that that is, I froze because I dayburned them. <laughs> <laughs> Fergie, the red card. Have you played? The, have you been sent off in a set of Rangers game? Aye, had the skin here, remember? Aye, legend. Do you know what I always wanted Aye. to ask you? How come when you played, like you didn't care about how you looked, and now you're like handsome? <laughs> what do you mean I didn't care? Like, like, you, I had my minute skin. You're always like clean shaven and like. I can't hear what you're saying. You now older. you're like. Aye, but I don't want. To, you get older, you start looking after yourself because you're getting older. Yeah, but you. see, when you went in, did you want to look quite, like mental? No, I was just back in the day. It was you know what it's like. So, when, when oh. it, uh, so what was the red card? Celtic beat us 6-2 at Celtic Park. Skelt is 6-2. Right. Is that the one last but, and chipped the keeper? Aye. That was my first you get sent off in that game, did you? Aye, I got sent off for... One was a, a late tackle. It was like a, a yellow card and then I fell on the ball. I was going towards the box and I fell on the ball and the referees sent me off for a second button. Who was it? I think it was Stuart Duggo. That was. Was it? Aye. Stuart Duggo. Right. Did you, did you beat Celtic 5 one that season or not? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See some of the results. It's mental, isn't See it? the teams in the late 90s and early 2000s. We would go in 1-5-1, then a fully in old firm game, 6-2, and then it would be 3-0 to us, and then vice versa. Why do you think that was? Just because the players were so good? Oh, I was mental. Because I, I don't know if I've told you before, we would be getting in top form. F- clear favourites, Celtic maybe dropped or lost I'll a couple of games or, or drew a couple of games and they would they would go and batter us and then it would be vice versa. Celtic would be the, the form team and then we would go and batter them. Mm. But just the quality... Shows that form, form goes out the window for oh, all the form. Time, it's just yeah. it's a one-off game, four times a season. Uh, yeah. But you see, see the players mm-hmm. back then for Aye. both of the teams. Yeah. I mean, there was four or five guys that could win a game of football. On their, their own. own. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, right, the red card. Did you think it was done once the red card happened? Yeah, it was a horrible. You got that sort of horrible feeling, but I think with Lenny's subs, you just he did. I think he, 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 he maybe panicked. Did you see the time when he made the sub? Did you think? I because I just thought you've took the attacking threat completely away, so yeah. you're almost new playing for the draw, um, which you can understand. But I just felt I didn't, I didn't like that. But, but it's, it's not really. I can't really criticise them because you got it bang on. They were brilliant, um, but I don't know. I just think four four one, Griffiths up. The only I kept saying play Edward to the left because you remember the, the this uh, is Brendan Rodgers game. Brendan Rodgers done it and Dembele was on and Edward came on to the two the left the two of them there and I think Edward scored and Dembele set him up played them in and it, so I liked that but you've got a great memory ah uh, it's only been like game Simon <laughs> and uh, I, I thought of that I thought he could have, I, I just think taking Griffiths off was um, probably was a mistake and, and I think the players and then Christie came off Tumble came off. As well, I think. The bull. The bull. I had a brilliant effort already to come in if you like one. David Attenborough, all that script. David Attenborough came to Glasgow, done a hang on the raging bull. 
you know, understand, it was amazing. Uh-huh. I went on for Why didn't you just do anything? Couldn't because it wouldn't work. I mean, it said David Abner flew out of Ibrox. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Done his last documentary on this pool. <laughs> you, might you, you might regret that, Lenny. I think, if you think so? Yeah. So, see, at the time, were you happy with the subs as a, as a Rangers I when, I when I seen Lee Griffiths come off, I was like, ah, great. But then you, you can understand these things. Yeah. Saying, like, Do you know what? I'm going to close it up a wee bit and try and mm. get the point. But we're still, if you keep Griffiths on, you've still got a chance of scoring. He, he only needs half a, half a chance, didn't he? Half a yard. Can okay, you the same? I just think, Si, in the situation that Celtic found themselves in on Saturday, saying like a must-win game, I don't know if it was a must-win game, but you've lost a man. Is the point going to be much better? Is the point going to date and for to change how the season might pan out? I think they could have went a wee bit negative, but still have a bit of positivity up front in yeah. terms of maybe I went to a back three. But, but have you got the players to go to back three? Just no matter where you've got the players, you've Trimble got to just get them grouped together and say, look, this is what's going to happen. We're going to try and maybe catch something here on the break. Yeah. It's 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 just an a like Lenny's made his choice, right? And it's no worked out. Had he made the say, had it had it worked out for him, they'd say, fucking genius. And there's an own goal as it's well. Just, aye, it's just an own goal that, that after that there was no shots and targets from any team. So for me, Fergus says you've got to keep Griffiths on because he has that threat. But for me, Griffiths, I think, was tiring. I think he looked. I think he looked tired. But yeah. again, early Nussi for me doesn't inspire me. So for me, Scott Brown, you're bringing him on today. Today, what showed up things? I don't think he's. I don't think he was capable of doing that at that point in the game. Um, I would like to have seen a bit more of a positive approach and just go for it. It's just when he's dis- he put Duffy up up top five minutes I, to go, and I'm thinking. I, I, I know I, you made a good point. Maybe he was tiring a wee bit, but he's, he's still a danger. Oh, aye, he's still a danger. I mean, if the ball drops to Shane Duffy or... Lee Griffiths. Lee Griffiths, I yeah. think I'm going to fancy Lee Griffiths to, to hit the target. Know, right, the, big question, Kev. Was that the win that sealed the title for Rangers? No, I, well, it certainly gives him massive breathing space at the top of the table. Um, Rangers, and then what, I, what I really like about this Rangers, the manager the now is, he's not getting carried away, but it's still the same attitude after each game. It's another three points and we just keep looking forward to the next game because you kind of get carried away because the minute you get carried away, things start to, to fall apart. But for me, what it shows is that other teams, if you press Rangers and put, you can make it difficult for them because Celtic showed that and teams that have pressed them, I don't think many teams have actually done that to them. Maybe Hibs second half. Maybe Hibs second half, but it just gives an option to other teams that are maybe looking for points that if you're playing against Rangers you might not need to just sit back and be defensively why don't you get at them and see what happens but 10 points is a big ask I think it's only happened maybe I don't, I don't know how many times in the past comebacks have come on but for me it's alright saying ifs, what's and maybes if Rangers drop points or if they lose the next two of the old firms it's four points if Celtic win their games in hand do Celtic look confident enough to be winning their games while Rangers are dropping points I, I don't know mm. I'm not convinced that um, if Rangers were to drop points Celtic also wouldn't drop points Fergie they're in the driving seat yeah but mathematically until it's impossible for Celtic to catch them Celtic have still got a, a chance maybe if Rangers get through January and beating yeah. or winning their games because it's a big uh, month in it Hibs Aberdeen away. away Hibs away Murrow away so tough fixtures and if they come through that then you've got to be confident that they can go on and, and do it yeah. 90, I, I, I still I think Celtic will win their three games in hand there's no doubt about that yeah. 10 points it's not massive but I would rather be 10 points in front than 10 points you came back for 10 points haven't you aye but it's happened a few times yeah Stratton's team I think done it as well didn't aye. it were you in the Rangers so, team when Stratton came back aye I think it was aye what was he so but, yeah, you were, that was the, all, all the, it takes is one dodgy performance mm. and dodgy result and then doubt setting aye and that's why the man. did you watch your darts last night no, I didn't. Gary Anderson. Gary, the boy, he was clear I mean, through it and he, he was just oh, it was 15, 15 attempts to finish it because you could just tell doubt started coming in and he said, it's a total I bet that no, I like Rangers that. are, they, they need I to like keep him. level-headed, their feet yeah. on the ground because see, see the first, second you start getting carried away and think, oh, this is yours. You slapped my face. Did you ever think like that and then it came back no, to me? No, no, you can't, you can't allow it. If, I'd expect the experienced ones in the dressing room, you don't allow it like to fester. Yeah. And I'm sure the manager, you hear him talk after the game. You hear Griggs and Balogun speak after the game. No, it, that's, it's only three points at the end of the day. Aye, it's great you beat your, your biggest rivals, but they need to focus. 
but it's there for them. Mm. Even after the game, rally you, cry for for sale. Just before that, Simon. Even after, if, as soon as the final whistle went, Rangers players just went off the pitch. There was mm. no celebrations or anything. Yeah, they're really, really focused this season. Nothing's come at them. Don't hum, hear it. Hum, humble, very humble. Uh, the way we Jack humbled me, Simon. You know what I mean? I'm very mm-hmm. humble now. You see, I don't slag him day, um, and I won't ever slag him day again. But on Celtic. They will be crowned the champions this season. <laughs> <laughs> they will, Simon. I, I believe so. I've seen the image in my head. I have, I've seen it and I think they will. Um, it's, it's three games in hand takes down to 10 points. Yeah. Still two old firms down to four points. You just ne- you just never know. Um, but if these Rangers do go on to win it, I, I honestly believe in if I don't know if you would count much in the COVID season. See anybody that wins it, many <laughs> fans. I don't know if I would count much. Even that in the darts last night, saying. What about last season's title? Yeah, last, I, Do you count that one? Uh, maybe I had that. To be fair, it's a tough January, right? For, for me, if I was a Rangers player, I'm, I'm, my, my focus and thinking would be it is a tough January. People might expect us to drop points, but see if we can win this three games. I, you're you're, you're, you're really, looking the, very, the, very the close. Yeah. See the difference in Rangers? Three times. They had an off game, Still bad won. result. Hibs away, drew. Livingston away, they drew. Living, uh, sorry, St Mum put them in the League Cup quarter final. See, since the quarter final, they've responded five games, yeah. five wins, and they've not played well at the levels. But that's a sign. Yeah, as much as yeah, I, I, team. I've said uh, Celtic stuff, if if not recruited right, Stunt the Rangers the, the position they're in. They went is it unbeaten in, yeah. the, in the league. In the league, I yeah, just yeah. conceded is it four or five goals in the league. They've won the two old Firm games, so it's. It's, that's it's them it's put them there and in all honesty it's going to be very hard now so I mean they've not dropped many points Honestly, anywhere no. on them they're not, they're not even conceding goals no. No. you know what I mean and, it, and if they do get through they've got a guy in goals who so they're very hard to beat I, so no listen it's, Rangers have been exceptional this season to say like, listen that's the way sometimes it goes yeah right <laughs> listen I'm fine <laughs> uh, right Celtic are off to Dubai it's a bad timing aye that is don't I, like I find it strange with the game next Monday. Yeah. Don't like it. Why do you think the just because it worked so well for them last year? Yeah. Ah, but in this season, it, sh- it shouldn't be happening. No way should they be going to Dubai. I said to my dad, he didn't know, and he said the bastard should be ran to Soul Coach. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> he said he would pick them up. So I was like, neighbor the liar told me after the game, I said, they're actually going to Dubai now. But the what? He said, I would pick them every man and drive them down to Soul Coach and get the bastards to run about down to Soul Coach. So I know, but can I like, <laughs> understand it's, the it's, bad time of the pandemic as well, but they've also had a busy schedule. They've been under a lot of pressure this year. But maybe he's thinking superstitious what happened, happened last, last year. year. Get understand. them away from it. Because they're, they're getting a lot of... Uh, Abuse just mm. now. Get them away from yeah. it. Away to Dubai. I for don't a week. think they get a lot of abuse after that game. No, yeah, but I'm just mean over the past couple of months. Fair ah, game. You know what I mean? It's it's sorry, it's it's the you've experienced it's tough. Oh, I, I, yeah, it's, I don't, it's like, I don't like it. No, if they'd have won the game yeah. Saturday, would anybody bat an eyelid about it? No, no. Exactly. No, I, I think they would. They're what is it? 19 points behind the league, and, and they've put a game back. They'll so now they're going to go 20 fucking two points. Uh, yeah, Matt, that, that I don't get. But at the same time, no, you said that. <laughs> it's not me. Uh, when, when do they come back for Dubai? Because the game's next Monday, isn't it? Um, a week a day, their uh, game. So they've what, got to be coming back. Like they've got to come back. Like first, aye, they've got to because I know it's seven and a half hours or eight hours, but it's still flight and it's time fine for a winter break. Yeah, no way they went a break. Come on. Mm-hmm. Would you have went over if you got asked? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a, that's a good point because see, see, we're in this terrible time on yeah, this side. That's, that's if the there was an opportunity for anybody to to get away from this kind of crazy world that we're in the now, I think most people would take that opportunity and still think have done. But the thing with them having a beer on a Sunday, people making a lot about that. Do you see that? There's a picture of Lenny and Scott Brown, a few boys having a beer on a Sunday. I, I, I don't mind that. No, the, the, the game's no eight, eight days, days later. Exactly. What is, are they not allowed to... Relax and let a bit of steam off it. Yeah. Any football, not just the Celtic players. Exactly. Uh, what, they're not allowed just to life in general. Like, I agree. Aye. You come home for your walk. You, I, I would these sit down and have a wee can of cider or something at night time with my tea. It's not, it's these, not an these issue. Guys, these guys train hard. All over Christmas and New Year as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they've not had Christmas Day off. They, their kids getting up, they'll be away in training. Yeah. Uh, why, why, why are they not allowed to have a beer? Yeah, I agree. You back on the drink, boozing with Susan? Ask me back. <laughs> and now Paul Slain is back on the booze what are you drinking blue WKDs wicked me and Jimmy Murphy boy you and Jimmy Murphy <laughs> he's back on it I meant to say have you got a new year's resolution see I tell you right now see new year's resolutions are a lot of shite because why do you need to do them every single next new year do you know what I mean so obviously the ones for last year haven't they worked do yeah. you know what I mean so I, I ain't going to get dragged into that um, so what about the driving like, so, 
I am. I'm going to be. I'm going to be a driver. Um, I'm still no sat theory, but you know what I mean. Remember that? I get a driving license. No, I can't drive. Remember, I used to cycle to training bull track. Obviously, remember. But I was. I think I told this story. But that, that bike I got was that was it a, a, a twelve year old's bike? I didn't realise I got it for Halfords. Like, I spent about one hundred fifty quid. So I've cycled him for Halfords to the house, and the bike was like. Tiny, but I didn't realise, and it was a twelve-year-old bike. bike. So it was like for a kid, and uh, I used to cycle at uh, Palace Arts for the train. I used to cycle there all the time, and I've told a story about Jenny, like not near where the light bulb tried to smack it in the eye. And uh, <laughs> did you know that he was cycling the train? No, but you're not far away, you know. Stay in the train. T- so and half, half an hour. It was after train. It was always an end. It was pure rainy. And I'm cycling by, boys are cycling by, throwing stuff and getting abuse for that. But I said, <laughs> "You need to move on." Yeah, I, I, I put a bean. Really the you? Did they hit you? He scuffed it. Genuinely was it scuffed. the van? Was it with the ice cream van? No, it was his fucking big... It was with his Range Rover, man. And he's like, ah, do you want to lift me, man? I'm like, I please, I can't stick the bike. And he's like, get the fucking crap. <laughs> <laughs> but as I always say, it was always hard for me, you and Bob, because we'd played Champions League with Celtic Rangers. <laughs> and for us to mingle with the Clyde... <laughs> to, us to mingle with the Clyde boys always... Did you find it for, it's for saying as they did play well? Well, we used to always come in. I always remember after the Clyde boys like, oh, I remember I played Annan two years ago. It was a hard game. We were sitting there like, I remember I played all for him. You're scud book, so relax. And, uh, <laughs> Us three were very humble with the boys. It was, uh, it was very hard. I remember after the games, we, we, the three years me, you and Bob, we used to say to the boys, please feedback, right? He gave us feedback on the game. The three sat there, I said, please feedback. They all gave us feedback. <laughs> after the game, Simon, the players went out and we just all burst out laughing. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are they? They ain't got a clue. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now, now fold, get your skinny ass up here, boy. Fat ass, actually. I'm waiting for him now. But no, that's in a slight. Fair game, any resolutions? Nah, I don't, nah, I don't make any. Nah, not a pass. Kev, New Year resolution. Ah, nah, sorry, I gave them up. I used to say I was going to die, but we finished by fucking nine o'clock. <laughs> so, uh, nah, don't, I'm not interested. Nothing. All right, mate. Uh, right, Stephen you Robinson. I know you do. You've been very. Uh, uh, have I got any? Uh, he has. Uh, eat, I need uh, to stop. I'm going to try and stop working so hard, mate. <laughs> have a bit of you time a bit of me time with the kids you need that uh, you just stopped didn't neglect you? them a I'll bit about my yeah, honestly yeah. but have you met them so have you seen the kids that I you, you look knackered I know I'm tired it's it's Friday because you've got a game the next day I'm looking at you like you're fucking shattered mate uh-huh. you need I to be need careful to with that I sometimes I, I see in his face your, your face is like sometimes right, right in does that mean you've just not been eating you know? and I think your sleep's went a wee bit I know I know I've done that to Paul Slim basically how do you not sleep I no, struggle really. to sleep sometimes. Do you fuck? I don't know. Oh, they're FaceTime in yes. the face. No, I, I think it's because I'm thinking. See, I, like, see for training. I've got the game. The next day. I start to think. I get into my bed and I think, oh, I might go with that, that formation. How come you don't think about it all day and then you get to bed at night and that's all you can nuts. think about? It's nuts. I don't know. So it's mostly your, the coaching that you think about? Aye, aye. Well, no, normally I don't sleep towards the end of the week. Right. Leading up to a game. Because I've got a game in the morning night. Last night I was thinking about, I might make a couple of changes here. Just yeah, it's that, it's that, anxiety, that's all that is. It just starts playing in my mind. Nah, you're just yeah. thinking about it. Do you know the best thing I do? I got up and I'll go and write s- something down. So yeah. I'll write the team right. and then I'll go into my bed and bang. Because it's on paper, that's right. it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's me done. Made oh, my decision. Brilliant, isn't it? Bang. That's a good idea. I got sent off Saturday, mate. Couldn't you sleep on it? Never again. No, so you slept much yeah. since New Year. You're blaming man. yourself for no. the field. Uh-huh. But mate, we were under the caution, but and I went and done that and boys ended up back to the walls for 80 odd minutes. Killed, killed them, mate. Do you know what I mean? Can't let that affect you, God's sake. Oh, hey, do, boy, you get I know, see, because the fact you're a coach and you're always shouting at them, and Aye. I'm always the first to criticise somebody oh, else, and at, I go and kill at, them. It's look like, at Roy Keane, biggest winner on the pitch, but he gets sent off at times. So oh, I, I blame myself when we get beat. What is the yeah. manager? And then when you win, it's the players that are. Aye. So what you'll sit at night and just think about it, it's your own fault. Aye, maybe I didn't do that right. Or, oh, what did I do Tuesday, Thursday, the training? But surely if you've been a player, goal, I, I, I should have worked on that. Surely you've been a player like when you're on the we've all been a player on the park, you're the only one that's in control of your decisions. Mm. So how can you as a manager then take the blame for somebody on the it, park? I, if I don't give them the right information, because I'm no big into video work, because no. we've not got a lot of time and I, I'm not going to bore. I've done it at, at Klein, I don't think it worked. Was it so I've changed Sorry. I've changed the way I say to them, trust me when I put information right. up the board. This is the way the team play, this is a danger man, blah, blah, blah. And then if it doesn't go according to plan the game, blame ah, me. That's fair enough. Take the, take the heat off of the boys, but I'll tell them privately. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? could have done this better, uh, that better. Uh, huh? what are, do you worry about bad performances? Did you used to worry about bad performances? Like that later on that night? Aye. Did 
Did you? How bad is that? Yeah. It eats up, but it generally eats away at you, doesn't it? You can't mm-hmm. think of anything else. Things you used to I love. I want to talk to him to see if I get beat on oh. Saturday. See Saturday night, Sunday. What, even the missing kids? Get, I, nah, I would just ignore that or be like, I thought you'd narky at them. Mm-hmm. I, thought you'd right. be, I thought you'd been different because I always thought, see the very best that what they do. I always thought that they didn't they just leave it. It's done and then they're ready for the no, next one. I was one. just desperate to get in Monday and work hard again. Mm. Hate it getting beat. Do you think it's fitball's the only job that it gets you like that? Aye. Mm. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Aye. I think so, Sai, because you're in, you, you're kind of semi in control of it. Like you, you, you're the one with the tools to try and make things better. Nobody else can really do it for you. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's just I think I think I think it's, I think it shows that people care playing football because everybody presumes that it's they Celtic not beaten, for example. Away him that Saturday, yeah, he's probably joke, fucking yeah. head up his arse, right? Mm. He's been abused by Celtic supporters and other people for for getting sent off. Do they honestly think that he's he went to him on Saturday and fucking thought, oh, but I lost us the fucking game of day and that's not us lost the title. That's all my fault. I'm going to get night here and celebrate it. He's probably in the house fucking deep as anything, it, thinking, oh god, it, I can't show my face. You know, it's is the, the money hanging out. Aye, they don't. Money's just in football. Just because they get that wage doesn't ah. mean they don't care. We were saying it earlier, weren't mm. it? Like, these guys, of course, they care. Ah, they, they think it just after the game they'll go back and start ordering things yep. on the internet and buying stuff and all that. The first, well, all the guys I played with, yeah. I can speak for myself. It's a, it's a, it's a, I, I took it to heart Saturday night, Sunday. Oh, yeah. I was just desperate to get back into training and get going again. You can enjoy. I don't think you can really enjoy a life as a, a big set of a career. You, 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 you couldn't enjoy it, really, could you? No, you couldn't. You could. You could you couldn't obsessed with winning that. in the. Uh, ah, you couldn't get after the Celtic. Yeah, I knew after one Celtic game and, and get lifted with the police. So, <laughs> so I learnt my lesson there. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't go and enjoy it. You can go back and sit and have a glass of wine or a, a few beers and think that like, that was a good one today. But you, oh, your mates and that are, yep. mm. are out and about. And the holiday says you never left the house. The whole time you played with Rangers, can he? You can't escape what, it though, can you? House, what, you to go out, you no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't let people stop me for doing that. Nah. No way. I'm going out for some meat, I'm going out for a couple of beers. But I've got every right to. Yeah. Yeah. Just because I play football, I shouldn't be doing it. Uh-huh. Do it at the right times. Yeah. Right. That's, That's the that, timing. You can't, it's timing. You, you can't escape it as a no. football player for everything you do. But even in, in training and stuff, like, in, you know, if I get in our job, like everybody's shouting at each other, moaning, screaming. It doesn't yeah. happen in our job, does it? I can't yeah. imagine going out a job and being Tesco or something slotting you, can you? No, but I don't know if that's a problem, no. It's, it's, in, in, that's uh, no nice. See when you're going into, uh, do you say Tesco there? Aye. I see you're going into like Morrison's or whatever. Aye. Or then, and you're getting somebody shouting at you. You got that, it in Marks and Spencer's other week, didn't aye, you? Aye, I, I get Did it all the time and I'm acting to myself. Well, and I react at times where I shouldn't. I know, but yeah, sometimes I just think, aye. who are they to talk to this? anybody? Uh, just getting your opinion, isn't it? I, I don't mind somebody coming up and saying, hey, by the way, you weren't great on Saturday, you were poor, you're right, no problem, mate, but mm. you don't need to shout it. Mm-hmm. But I don't, Could I, we chat? Even, even that, mate, like, look, say these people come up and go like that, you have done that better, mate, you can't keep the ball up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It annoys me, like, it's, it's only having It's your, only football that other people have got a... But see, I don't get that with football, like, people, uh, people say, like, he's shy, do this, do that. Mate, you can't, you can't play for your amateur team on Sunday, like, I'm not saying, Stop trying to slaughter boys. Have your opinion, that's fine. Have your opinion, but don't be nasty about it. Mm. That's, that's, like the, that's like when Ken Phillips said to me years ago when, when you're getting stuck off the first team, he says, Go and watch your, the Sunday league teams on a Sunday. Just go down and watch a, a, a council game down at the park. And them's the kids that are fucking telling you, you can't play football. And I thought, He's fucking right. They couldn't have kicked their ass. And they're it. telling us we couldn't play football. And I thought, I love them going Buchanan Street or something, somebody nah. shouting. It's the, the religious bit that I had that used to do my head in. Would you, know you get that quite a bit? Uh, all the time. All the time, aye. Would you react, eh? Huh? No. When I was younger, aye, I would, but then it just got to a stage where. What's the point? Yeah. Sad guys, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you never see like a darts player, somebody tweeting a darts player telling that he's not throwing the dart no. properly. Do you know what I mean? It's only football that people think they've got this. I like somebody uh, having uh, an entitled opinion. opinion, opinion yeah, yeah. But don't get us wrong, 99% of Celtic are Rangers fans or any football Being fans good. are all good. They're either banter. No, good. You don't mind that. I don't mind a banter. Having a laugh and a joke. No, but seeing it starts getting to that crap, that's my head then. Brilliant. Right, Stephen Robinson. Was he surprised? They have struggled this year, but I, I'm surprised because... Did you Mon- see his interview? But he set the standards so high at Mother Well, did I, I just looked if he'd gave up, didn't he? Just, mm. I did. he couldn't Why do you think he's gave up? Know. Just because he's a wee bad run? 
But he's been like, oh, see, when, season. He, when he first came into the job, Motherwell were in a bad state, weren't they? Aye. It's him that's kind of built the expectation up. I think he deserved longer. To but did he walk? He walked. He walked, yeah, but I mean, I, I, you know, but gave he, himself I, I longer. I actually feel even in, in earlier interviews, at the start, I remember you talked about the start of the season, like, we, we were saying it, Aye. that he almost was that sort of, when he was talking, as if the players weren't they working for him or something. Mm. He was like, ah, he felt a wee man. bit... Um, in his early interviews, remember they went something like six or seven games without a win at the beginning of the season and were rooted to the, the bottom of the table and his interviews were a wee bit sketchy then. I thought, he's he looks like a man under pressure here, but was he under pressure for himself mm. rather than from the board? Because I would imagine the Motherwell board would have... Well, well they did give him time to... Yeah. I wonder if he was and, under pressure with the board. No, but just, that, but that's, yeah. I don't no, think so, but what? was he putting himself under too much pressure? Yeah. Because people started talking about him, saying, right, Stevie Robin's the next Northern Ireland manager, or he might be getting a move down south. Did he set his expectations too high and he wasn't... He, I don't know, it's a, it's a strange one. I wonder one. if his standards are that high and he doesn't think the players are hitting his sort of standards. Ah, we don't so maybe that's why he's sort of leaf, would you think? Aye, and the way his interview went, it's, he signed the players. Mm. Aye. He feels that, it, to me, it felt that he was getting let down with them. Yeah. That's what he felt. And he couldn't get any more at them. Any more at them. Aye, so he's probably, wise them, he's probably aye. felt aye. he couldn't aye. get any more now. Keith Lasley get the job? No. Jenky maybe left because of the, th the threat of you lifting the pitch? I, I, well, I did say, say and I, and I kind of wish I never said it. Now, that club's not been the same since I left. Said that, uh -huh. I, I, I said that in the past, and it wasn't he trying to have a wee gloat, mother. Listen. I love the club, they're a brilliant club, right? They're a fantastic club, but they haven't been the same. Everybody knows that, everybody tells me that. What, just know the same feel about the place? That, the, the, when I was there, they believed they could do anything. Mm -hmm. And I went down, they believed now they might go down the league. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame, the only way to do it is, bring back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, favourite, it's Curly Toe, Craigan. Favourite for the manager. Is he, yeah? Don't know, I'm just saying that to get a reaction. That no. would be. <laughs> is he? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It would be brilliant to see him because the mother would be great to watch mother on a Saturday if he was a manager because the curly boys of death would be having oil the pitch. And I would love to see that. <laughs> There'd be own, here, own goals getting kicked in every game. The man was a king on goals, but I like Craig. Everyone with lotto boots on, innit? Lotto boots. Uh -huh. uh, just dry hair looking terrible f gel, just gel the friend you flick it right down <laughs> <laughs> you know you know Laz Fergie didn't you I, I, Great guy. Play, I played against could him could you see Laz being a good manager aye what's he got well he's got good experience because he's been there all yeah. the time I, I think it might be a bit too early for him I think they, they might bring in somebody experienced but I think they'll keep him at the club I think in time he will yeah. be the middle manager what about Mo Morris Ross he's in there as well is he not Aye. Mo does the reserves. Aye, so no, he's in the first. Aye, he's first, first team. team. So about <clears throat> Morris and big Terry, I've heard Keith Lassie, the two of them. No, Morris Ross heard big hangs of it. Was a but big Terry's favourite to get the job. Who Terry Butcher? No, Venables. <laughs> 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 Anyone else who can see being linked? So it's a big job, mother. Tommy Wright. Tommy oh, good shout. Shout. shout! I think Tommy Wright will get good it. Good shout. Very good. But see, football fans, do they want that style of football now? He knows how to get results. Results, yeah. And they need that right now, don't Aye. they? They're in a relegation fight in this size. They've got they good need players, to just get they? They've got good players. Aye. That's what I'm saying. They've got Tommy Wright types of players, though. Because they've got a lot of nice right. football players, don't they? But have they got Aye, they're, they're guys to play the way Tommy Wright wants them to play? I suppose they do with Declan Gallagher. And but if you watch our game on Saturday, like defensively, they've got they were fucking all the shop. Mm. But that's meant one at two Scotland. And yeah, we've got two. We've got Declan Gallagher, who's been amazing for Scotland. Stephen O'Donnell's been good as well, and they're playing. But the boy is it Mugabe? Yeah. Mm. Trying to chop his right leg off. I think he's a victim of his own success. Do you? Yeah, that's what I mean. Huh? I mean third cup finals. Yeah. You know what I mean? That look, they've got a, and he's built a good squad. They're just mm. not producing. Hmm. Did you take it? it? No, mate, I'd, I'd, not interested. Imagine you used to go to it. <laughs> no, well, that'd be a good decision mean. if you did get used to because I, I would leave the pitch down then. I would leave it. <laughs> would you leave the pitch? I'd leave it for you to enjoy it. Maybe have a few wee frets to wind you up. I'll, 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 I'll they'll go, go for the experience, part. you think? No, I definitely, yeah. they'll go for the experience. Uh, and then bother, they're uh, level on points with Ross County, Kev, and the 3 0 defeat to Hamlin. Of course, they side yeah. because they don't look like points up. Like we're talking there earlier about Rangers, they've got to go to Motherwell away. I don't think that's a worry. I think obviously the, the, the first two Rangers away games are, but the Motherwell one I can of see. But then, do Rangers then go there when they've got a new manager and they get a reaction? You don't know, but I, I, they've got to be because Hamilton are doing what Hamilton do best. They're grinding out results. They know how to stay in the league. Yogi's got a, a, a jolt at uh, Ross County, so they're picking up points. I think he's won what, four points at the last two games. So they've got to be, and Motherwell's going the other way. So that for me right now, they are in it the now, but 
Yeah, I'm having him all day long. Yogi, brilliant, I'm, I'm, isn't he? I just like him. Just good. And Fergie, you know, he got the set. job. The chairman watched his interview on Open Goal. Is that true, aye? Uh-huh. And, and the, the guy Doesn't just surprise you, go and express yourself, go yeah. and play well. Brilliant. You lose the ball, get back in your shape. Simple. Mm-hmm. It looks like a manager you'd love to play under. Yeah, I, I would want to play for I would. Aye. Aye. Yes. It looks like a manager that I'd be desperate to go out and play for. Aye, I would agree with that. Selena, who would you like to see take your, your old club with? Have you got anyone in mind? Hmm. I like. I want Shaggy Frail to get it. Stevie Frail? I want him to leave Mickey Mellon. I do, I'd love Stevie Frail to get it. He's a bit, he played him on the road, didn't he, Stevie? I think he did. I can yeah, yeah, he did, did he? I think he did. Hearts Motherwell, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. He did, didn't he? I'm pretty sure I claimed him as a sticker. Do you yeah, want, him, do want him to leave Mickey uh-huh. Mellon? I love the two of them, but Mickey's no good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mickey's a great guy. I need to reach him, by the way. See if Motherwell did go down, would you just completely disassociate? Would you like pretend you'd never played for him? Straight on Wikipedia. Take it off. Well, Take it, <laughs> 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 you can't keep the pitch, not to be me. See, if Yogi wasn't in a job, I think he'd have been a perfect fit for Motherwell yeah. with the players uh, of all worths. And mm. I think he would have suited him, eh? It's mental. Yogi Hughes is a, a centre half who's just a warrior, wasn't he? Just, he did everything, tackle uh-huh. everything. But his teams play decent stuff. Are they proper play? Did he try proper play, Yogi Hughes? But there's no air aggressive about him. See when he speaks? Yeah. He speaks for here. Mm-hmm. He's so passionate. No, like some, you know, I, 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 he loves it, mate. It's like it's like he says. If if you watch Yogi Hughes when he played for Celtic, he was just a big fucking no nonsense centre half. Mm. And yet, when he talks about football, it's so like I don't know. He's just very clever with it. His knowledge is amazing. And like Fergie says, you'd want to play for him, and you'd yeah. want to do your best for him. Yeah, County won't go down. It was the I watched an interview no long ago. One my mate sent it. Best interview ever was at Love Street. Amazing. After the game. That was brilliant. He'll get in the motor and he'll blow smoke up his ass. And he'll blow smoke up his ass. By the way, he's 100% right. Everything. Is that the one he got the sack from? The interview? Was that the one? The week later, I think he got the sack. Aye. But did you see his interview leading up to it after that? No. The kit man was going to do the team Team talk. talk. (laughs) Loved that. Loved that. (laughs) He's some man. Bit of passion. uh, uh, Hibs, 3 0 defeat. Olivia, what's going wrong there? What is going wrong? You've tipped him for third, Jack Ross, best Best manager manager in the league. He's not even the hype. It's mental, isn't it? I thought, was, I, I thought he was a real deal, Jack Ross. Mm. I still think he's, listen, he's good, but where have these results came from? Mm. They were actually good for Rangers. Did you watch that game? Yeah, they were good against yeah, Rangers. Half, I, I, the way they set up, I like the way they set up. But they went, he went four at the back, didn't he? On Saturday, I think Rangers, he played a 3-5-2. 3-5-2 for Rangers. Went back to four at the back and Portis and Hannon looked like they had a bit of... I think if you watch the, the, the highlights of the game, the goals that Hibernian scored, basic def- defensively, it's poor. A flick over. Got to either let the boy run and play him offside or keep that. Some the, finish. Big little, that. Great finish. Great low ping, bottom corner. But the, the third goal, that's just a hoof up the part side between mm. two centre halves. You want your centre half to go and head that. Out muscle the striker. He's out muscle the two of them. Slid tackles. Managed to keep the ball in and toe, pack, toe poke it past the goalkeeper. They're avoidable. If you're being <clears> cut open with good football, you say, you put your hands up and you say, right, fair enough. But see, when you're losing goals at that, you've got to then be saying to yourself, right, wait a minute here. I get uh, another one that we're interested in looking good and actually getting results. Ah, so you look possibly. at Livingston, mate, they didn't care about looking good since no. Martin Dale's. Guffrey gets the ball and he belts it to the top yep. and go through and score. They're the basics of the game, aren't yeah, they? That's mental with that boy, Martin Dale, though, isn't it? Like, no, he well, came in. What's that run he's on? Seven he was, out of seven. I find it what weird, like, he was actually at the club. Usually you'd think you need a change for that. Yeah. That complete change. But I think he was doing most of the things. But that's what I'm saying, that's surprising, but yeah. now, isn't it? If he's just did, like, see, getting on, two of their goals was getting on second balls yeah. first, putting the ball over the top, people willing to run off the ball. Staying the basics, basics right? Basics, right, mm-hmm. Fergie, exactly. It. I like these guys, Martin Dale, John Hughes, not that. They just tell it like it is. M- Mickey Mellon's similar, isn't he? Exact same as that. Uh-huh. Aye. He's Could, been doing England for his 15 year old, Mickey. You still get the same accent. I know, it's brilliant, uh-huh. isn't it? I love that. <laughs> I love listening to him. <laughs> I love listening to them. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, right, can you get them in the top six, Davy boy? Why no? I think he could. Why no? They, they again see that group of players. They look to me if they're desperate to play for them. Yeah, they've got good experience as What's well. What's their opposition the to, to the top six? You've got Aberdeen who'll finish third. Tibbs. Tibbs are struggling a wee bit. So who? who? What are you thinking? Dundee United, Livy. But Livy, Livy, Livy for me. Like you say, Sai, they, 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 they keep to the basics of football. 
There's no nonsense. See, see defensively, fucking if it's there to be cleared, they yeah. just cleared it. They don't fuck about. They don't try and do stupid wee passes or anything. They just stick to what they know. And if they continue that way, that breeds confidence. They're getting results. It's not as if they're nil nils every week or a one one. They're actually they're winning games. But they're so also got some get handy bit. football players. Yeah, well, Livingston. They've got Holt in the midfield. We right. Jason Holt is a good footballer. Pittman's good, isn't he? Sibold, like Sibold yeah, good mm, player. Sibold. The boy, Ro- is it Robinson? Steve, uh, he, was, uh, he was a defensive midfielder at East Fife, and now he's playing up front in the SPL. That was him, it was a hard yeah. Do you need a striker, Levy? I, I, I think in January they'll look to get somebody yep. in. Mm. What about the Jet? They've got the Jet. Who's that? No, uh, J. Emmanuel Thomas. Have oh, they got him? Uh, J. Emmanuel Thomas. He's not really done well, but was I agree. Him from Arsenal? Probably doing his, uh, it was at Arsenal. Good. Oh. Mate, see, when I was doing South, he was brilliant. He was a player, wasn't he? In the Championship. Uh-huh. Uh, right, last few bit lads on. Can I do sorry to say? Of course you can. I mean, how good is Charlie Adam, by the way? Aren't he? Uh, did you watch the game? Oh my god, mate. I've never seen the game. Did you see the game? Mm-hmm. Mate, he should be playing. He's quality, his left foot's mate, he's unbelievable. Unbelievable. No. Mm-hmm. Was he on Real Rangers? Ja- Charlie's always been like that. She was a young boy and he came in, we were like, this guy's a player. Ah, you could see he could pass Pops the ball. Uh, Why left, did a Premier League he's... team no take him? Did they hang him anti-quote Dundee though, didn't he? What? No, he done these yeah. boy club bank. I uh, understand it, but surely he, I would imagine Charlie, Asprey's, that he would want to go in there and prove himself as still being more than capable. Uh, he's probably him. looked at it that in the future, he's probably going to live in Dundee and maybe get a coaching job there after he, he finishes. Lovely. I don't know, but I agree. Aye, he's lovely good, left. Like, uh, lovely but the result that is for Dundee, but picked up hearts, it. it's not going to be as easy as people think for no, him. You could catch him. I still, think I still think they should win the league, hearts. Yeah. Go to win the league with the, mm. the squad. Listen, Andy, are you? Where's Andy went? Well, I think Hearts have got a lot of COVID things just now, so he just keeps at risk. His football career comes first, mate, innit? Think I'm so? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, right, only an excuse. Did you watch it, the last one? Never. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's that section fucked in. Did you watch it? Uh, it's magic. <laughs> it's good. Listen, the only excuse has been brilliant. The old ones are amazing. Uh, uh, they're the best. The old uh, ones are brilliant, isn't it? See in the 90s. Were you ever in it? Uh, 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 what was it for fun? Did you get slow on it? I was in it loads of times. Did you mind? No, nah. if you're on it, you're, you're doing something right. Ah, yeah, day, day, See, if you heard the interviews, like Maka and Sunes and what? Uh, uh, Kenny Douglas. At, at the start, you're like, ah, bastard. He's doing me, but <laughs> see, to be honest with you, it's good to be in it. See, it? when you're first on it, you, you sit with your family in that. Aye, and you didn't I, know you were going to be on it. it. I was a Ned in it. <laughs> I never remember it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just love Frank. Frank's. Do you know what? Frank's on there saying, "Oh, it's brilliant." See, when I think he's like, it's "Shite." I know he cracks up with you, doesn't he? No. <laughs> the, so the one in the petrol station. Oh, oh that's the best. Brilliant. Man. Pump two, no, yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. I love the Brendan Rodgers on his own. Oh, oh, oh sir, shoot. get the fuck. <laughs> Super. Uh, oh, brilliant winner. Do you think we could take over it now? For the new year coming, that can Go, us be the Hug Me show. Go and give an, an impression of a football manager or, or player. Like, oh, I hate that guy. Come on, impressions, eh? It's not me, it's not my game, that, but... Um, no, I'm, an act, I'm an actor. Right, well, act like... <laughs> why don't you act like Lenny? No, it's not a deal that. But I think, definitely, I think... It's been unbelievable. It's kept us up for the, through the years, but I do think Open Goal boys are ready to take over. Be the new. It wasn't getting show. great. See, the last like, nah. few years, it, it, it's going it outside the football, isn't it? But we need to outside the ah, football. Ah, uh, we need to be on the TV. Oh, imagine that a live show. Imagine us bring the bells in live. Amazing. Wow! Did you? Uh, did you ever meet him? No, I've never met him. No, nah. in fact, no. Have you seen him? Remember? I had the West End, Alan C Smith. Does he have a here? That must have. Thank you. It was a bit of West End. These guys are unreal, but they don't. You can't mess with these guys. They're too sharp for us. Kev, okay, have you never watched that? Where did you watch the open goal? Did you watch it? What? What? Did the... Ring the bells in the open goal? Mate, I was steaming. <laughs> lie, I was enjoying myself. How many times you watched How TV? How many times? Uh-huh. Uh, right, just before we go, did you watch Let's Get Your Brother and Frank? Uh-huh. Aye. Brilliant, mate. Well, <laughs> have you spoke to him since? <laughs> I was just laughing all the way through it, mate. I was back because I knew that would fucking crack him up. <laughs> does he hear that? <laughs> <laughs> we got it spot on, innit? Oh, oh mate, the guy, we actually thought at the time we were like, is he saying Barry far too much? When it, it was actually getting awkward at one point. Is he a real actor, that boy? He, he, he's dabbled. Oh, he's dabbled. dabbled so he's no, no, he's not really, him. but he should get in it, shouldn't he? Was that Brett? Brett, uh, uh, it was good. It was good. It was, what about the size of the, sh- the suit? <laughs> <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> that was a bit of hit me gone, mate. What about when he says he was just a wee guy for Glasgow, he's still Hamlet? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what a oh, guy. It was brilliant, man. I was Super buzzing with it. Two heroes. See the, amount of, see the amount of text messages I got after people watch. I know a lot of people watch us, mm-hmm. but they're, they're saying that was fucking brilliant. 
Amazing. Brilliant. Two good sports, don't I? Oh, you'd have cracked, imagine you'd done that. You'd have cracked him out. You'd have lost the plot. You'd have flung him about. I'd have, I'd have lost the plot. That's us, lads. Fergie, thanks very much. Aye, thanks, no problem. Who's Who's sub up here in what? Who's the best? You can just play, play, play. Oof. Oof. Arthur Newman. Was he? Aye. What Who's the best? Best set play, played against. Larson. Lenin was up against you, weren't you? Ah, uh, well, Larson, obviously, because he was some player. Maravchek. Oh, ah, shouts. Wow. I, I remember, see the first game I played against him? I think we got a corner against us after two minutes. So he knew it the right side. He whipped it in with his left foot. And I think it was Big Oz, Craig Moore. He either do it for an hour corner on the opposite side. He went across and whipped it in with his opposite foot. Wow. What about favourite Rangers player as in person? Uh, it'd be the same. Aye, he, he was, he, mate, he had everything. He had everything. No, no, in terms of like the best ability. Yeah. But what, what a defender, a machine, absolute machine. Looked after himself, proper leader. Mm. See, guys, really? I'm not. I want to go with like ability wise. I mean, you had guys like Van Bronckhurst and De Boers and all that who ability was brilliant. But I look at overall, mm. he had everything. Who was the most? And Cl- Cloud Arena was. Close behind. Hey, them. you said that, Kev, didn't you? What was that? Send around you. Yeah, we, we signed him for Wilsburg, right? American guy coming in, you're thinking, right, he's, he's going to be decent enough. Hey, this guy. He can keep, keep the ball. Foot. How good was he? Keeping I mean, he could play anywhere. I mean, he played the ball away. Right back for us, played wide rights, holding midfielder, forward thinking midfielder. Because he's like looking like, in, you would never say, like, no, Arena that's his boys that play play him, obviously. That's his, uh, uh, his boys at Dortmund. His boys at Dortmund. Was he born in Sunderland? I'm born in Sunderland, that. Wow. But he had he had everything as well. Who was the most? Was there anybody before the game, <laughs> old Firm games, pure nervous? Can you remember them? It was like, fucking hell, I can't fucking deal with him, can it? Here he's that nervous. Remember them, no? Did you play with Lyle, Pai? Aye, I was only young coming through. He. Like, mm. as a Celtic fan Sorry, growing up, he was, he was, he was, he scare me. He was too good. Mm. Nervous? Big laugh at it, you said he used to get quite uh, nervous. Uh, everybody get nervous. You talk about somebody who would... Uh, like was, me. That you would need to put your arm in and say... Fernando's first game, Fernando Nixon maybe. Was he aye? No, because you remember he got brought yeah, off. Yeah, wasn't it? Uh, he got uh, brought aye. off after 25 minutes. Wow. But that was the making of Fernando. Yeah. To be fair, a lot of people could have crumbled. But 30 Fernando, he went away and worked harder and and come back. Mm. But I was always nervous. I was always on edge before the games. If I never felt on edge before any game, I would struggle. So you said like Rangers game, when, when would you start to get nervous as soon as you woke up? Monday. Monday. The game was on Saturday. Mon- Monday the build up. Have you that never had a midweek week. game? It would start then, the sleep would be alright Monday, less Tuesday, less Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when they sleep, tossing and turning up early, and looking at myself in the mirror, get myself psyched up. And How do you play things. a game that big when you've no other sleep all week? I thought I've slept, but no, no well, slept well, like uh, nine hours, maybe can do each. Yeah, I love that. Uh-huh. See, more, sorry, this is uh, just the last week. I've seen like Walter Smith would come in and change at half time or before games and spoke and that. Would you then speak after him? Would you talk to the boys? No, uh, well, like once the, the manager came in and done his fight, aye, aye. aye. Would it, you? Aye, not just me, but there'd be a number of boys that would, that would get in. Sorry, I'm going to ask a quick question. See, when you were saying there, like, you obviously, you, you were, no nervous, but you were a wee bit for the why, game. Why see, see, when you, aye, see, when you got into the game, was there something you always tried to do to, to sell your uh, first pass, first tackle? I or always like? says to myself, I've got 10 minutes to impose myself in the game, whether that's a pass, tackle, header. I had to do something in the game. I always a trigger that you, a trigger that you knew you didn't. You went right. That's me. I mean, I, I'm not talking about a 50-50 tackle. See, just can pass and just hitting somebody, aye, or yeah. elbowing somebody, just to know where you are. Aye, aye. you get a reaction, especially at home. The fans would get a reaction off that. Brilliant. So yeah. I always believed you ten minutes at Ibrox because the fans then would demand something happened. So you ten minutes and you used to say to the players, "Look, we've got ten minutes. We need to start the game here. If we don't start well, leave a marker." Yeah. Go and miss time a tackle in the right area. Get the crowd up. Get the cl- uh, crowd fired up. And when they get fired up, that starts pumping through you. But I used to get fired up for them, see, going out in the warm-up. Used to get right up close to them. And they would all be roaring, like, especially an old family. What, the Rangers fans? Aye, they would yeah. be in early. No, you would go out 40 minutes before the kick-off. But I would run up, and especially old firm games, they would be in early. They would all be roaring at you. and I used to get that, feed that inside me. Yeah. 
It would give me the, oh, it would get oh, me going. Fergie, what a man. Thanks very much, mate. Well done, lads. Oh, yeah. We're going to find me Ford. Uh, let's go, let's go get Ford.